Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer the elemental energy reading for the week of September 1st through the 7th for, with the runes this week. Um, and I read for the elements instead of the zodiac. There's a video down below as to why I do that <laughs> and then if you're interested in getting either like a zodiac chart which also has your elemental alignment in it uh, the natal interpretation chart down below it's not an affiliate link um, <laughs> affiliate thing but it's just a product I really do like and I do s appreciate how they uh, what they offer they give you your little zodiac with all the houses and everything but then they give you depending on what's in the chart itself, 10 to 20 pages of other information to fill in so you can kind of get a good idea of what your baseline is for the life that you chose this time. <laughs> so you can check that out down below and there's some other goodies down there if you're interested in getting into the runes and the fun that goes with them. With that, we'll get started and we'll start off in the pattern of the zodiac. Oops, where'd it go? Uh, with fire, and fire covers the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your first rune, fire energy, is the Anzeus rune with the ancestral, the god of Odin. So, we're talking some very wi powerful wisdom energy here. Color is dark blue. Tarot association, though, is death. But that should be fun. And we have the astrology of Mercury. It signifies wisdom and help from someone older. It can also mean magic, psychic powers, and initiation. When we see the energy of Anzus, when they talk ancestral, this is something that's either older, generally either from a family line or a spiritual senior to you. And there's a lot of wisdom there. When we talk about the god Odin, he literally sacrificed one of his eyes to gain wisdom and knowledge. When we look at the energy of the death card, it generally means there's something that has to be removed. There's something that's in the way, and it's time for a pattern to come to an end. With that, we have this energy of you have someone older, someone who has been there, done that, uh, you could call them a wise one if you choose, who's saying they're going to mention, they're going to bring something to your attention this week. And it's something that you've been kind of playing with getting rid of or cleaning up. And this week they're going to be like, so what about, let's say, you said you were going to start that walking every night. Do you want to start doing that? Because I'm willing to go, you know, I want to get into it too. And that's a way to break a bad habit of, you know, going home and clicking the clicker all night versus going home and then meeting up with your friend after work and going for a walk every evening. So it's things like that. There's something that has to end, but it's going to come in as a burst of insight from someone outside of your little circle. Your second rune, see if we get a little more clarity there, is the Degas rune. And it's for the day, color of light blue. So you're definitely blue is a good color for fire this week. Uh, tarot card is the, sem uh, the temperance. And your astrology is the dark moon. This is awakening and clarity, indicating success, prosperity, abundance, and life. When you have these two runes coming forward, it's saying that there's a lot of wisdom that's coming in for you. With Anzus working with Odin and the death card, it's time to use that wisdom that knowledge and maybe it's an outside influence to help clear some stuff out because the day is coming Dagos is coming and it's bringing in this energy of abundance of prosperity but when you have uh, an energy blockage like the death card or something that's just a habit maybe that's just not not working the way it should and it's time or an old habit that maybe was great at the beginning and now needs to be cleared out the day comes bringing great gifts but you have to make room for them and that's where the first rune the Anzus with the death association is coming in you're also working with the temperance energy from the tarot and that's a card of balance and knowing when to make the moves it's not 
spontaneous. It's not aggressive. It's not, I'm going to just plow through fire this week. It's a little bit against your nature, but bank the fire, build the heat, and allow it to do to work its magic because that's what's coming in this week is you're going to have some things that are going to be brought up that need to be maybe cleared out or start working on clearing them out but you also have a lot of prosperity in the day coming through so you're clearing things out to invite better things to come so let's hop over to the next in our cycle with earth and that is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you have Earth high in your charts, here we go. You have Gibo, which is blessings and generosity, color of deep blue. Tarot association is the lovers, so this could be a spicy week for Earth again. And astrology is Pisces. This is a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships becoming deeper. There's a lot with Gibo, and one of the things that always sticks out in my mind is this is the rune of gifts. This is the rune of sharing. And it's giving and receiving. It's not just I'm giving of myself to the point of exhaustion. You're giving, but you're also receiving. So you've got a very powerful cycle starting to build here in, in this week for Earth. And with Pisces, you also have this urge to escape. There's a little bit of escapism that's coming up. So as you're going through this week, be, excuse me, <laughs> be generous with your time and energy, but also allow others to be generous in return because it's not a one-way street. When you talk of giving, gifting, generosity, blessings, it's not just all passing it on to someone else. You have to pass it on and then invite it back and then allow it to come back in it's not so much inviting it's letting it <laughs> so that's the cycle that you're working with um, let's see what else we got going on here we have the Hagalaz rune not one of the better ones I've in my opinion and it is hail color of light blue blue goes for earth too this week um, tarot association is the world astrology is Aquarius which is your opposite air, um, earth because that's an air sign signifies unexpected setbacks problems attempting to let things flow possible disruptive natural events so earth you have a lot of blessings you have a lot of positivity coming in with gibo here the hagalaz rune is saying do not get in the way allow the energy to flow in flow out flow in flow out because if you try to control it if you try to wield it or shift it in a certain direction you're going to end up with a blockage the setbacks or the unexpected problems when you're working with blessings and generosity most of the time it's pretty open and shut you just it comes in it goes out it's just how it works this week they're really just giving you the heads up with hagalas allow that energy to flow allow the movement of the blessings and the prosperity and the abundance however that manifests for you uh, from God source divine allow it to move do not cling to anything that comes through this week if it stays great if it passes forward let it pass forward because you don't you don't want the Hagalaz rune to uh, spring its trap so to speak and that's where things can get a little bit hiccupy they're not saying it's going to be disastrous but it's definitely going to be uh, they're giving me the word unlucky, so maybe <laughs> it won't be like you'll lose everything, but you'll just like stub your toe twice in the same day or something. It's definitely energy that you want to avoid, so definitely keep that channel of blessing in, blessing out, and it can be energetic, it can be financial. It's how it, how you're felt, how you feel led to share and receive is the big part of what's going on this week for our Earth family. So. And I live in a part of Idaho, if you're wondering why I'm having a bit more issues than normal, um, with all the smoke in the air from the local fires. Like I said, this is being recorded for September 1st through the 7th of 2024. There's a lot of local fires in my vicinity, and <laughs> central Idaho is just on fire right now. And it's causing a little bit of uh, some allergy issues for me, so I do apologize. 
But our air family, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you guys and gals are starting off with Othila, which is ancestral property, color of deep yellow, tarot association is the moon, astrology is the full moon. It's possession, inheritance, real property, inherited abilities, traits, and gifts. So air, this is a time to really be open to things coming in from someone who's older. So it could be a bloodline thing where your abilities are starting to wake up, which <laughs> is weird when it starts to happen because you start to just have these experiences that no one else in the family currently is having. But your grandma, your great grandma, that's what they were always doing. So, <laughs> or grandpa, depending. Um, be open to that kind of stuff. But it's also talking about just in general inheritance, whether it's from someone passing over or they're gifting it to you and while they're still alive, like a trust fund or something. But there's a lot of positivity going on with the full moon aspect of this. You're also dealing with um, the manifestation you've been working on is coming to fruition, but you also are working with a subtlety, the intuitive aspect, the subtlety of the subconscious. So pay attention to your dreams this week, especially air, because there's there's information coming through that you might miss if you are so focused on one aspect. Allow the universe to bring the gifts, blessings, and inheritance of what, however that manifests in on its own. It's not something you're going to be able to force. Your second rune, maybe get a little more clarity there, is... Do, 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 where do we go? Oh, they hide this one from me. That's special. There it is. <laughs> uh, Laguz, which is your water rune. Color of deep green. Tarot association is the star. Astrology, we're still with the moon. So really pay attention to your dreams, your gut instincts this week. Air, well, you've got moon twice with these two runes. So you're very much about tapping into your subconscious. Also working with a bit more of the divine feminine energy. And this rune goes with unconscious intuition and mystery psychic awareness, hidden sources of creativity. And hidden sources of creativity could also be your gifts coming through because you might actually have the uh, ability to work with metal as like a welder in our artistic sense, like your grandfather did. No one else in the family even has the interest, but it's always been something that you have wanted to do. And you could be a groundbreaker in that too. So you've got some very powerful energies coming in, but they're really wanting to focus on the subconscious, that subtlety of the divine feminine, of the moon energy. If you get the chance, the new moon is also coming up this week of September 1st through the 7th. Set a new intention on the new moon, which would be the Monday, uh, Labor Day if you live in, America, in the United States, and set an intention to awaken, to develop, and grow your bloodline or spiritual lines, creative gifts and abilities that are coming forward for you. Because there's going to be some, they're saying that this is a really, this could be a game changer. It's a really good thing that is coming in. It could actually turn into um, something that could be profitable one way or another, not just, not just financially. It could be something that you start to build um, to pass on to the next generation. You could start to teach this particular art or craft that comes through. Uh, it's not saying it's going to be an easy flow, but it's definitely going to be something that comes to you and it just uh, arrests your attention. Like this is where it's going to be because it's so fascinating to you. So, but they're saying it's going to come through a subtle way. So like your subconscious, a dream state, things like that. Um, so let's hop over to our last elemental energy with the water. Water covers Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So water, you are also being blessed with some gifts, just like the Earth family is. And it's blessings and generosity with the Gibo rune. Deep color of deep blue, tarot association is the lovers, and astrology is Pisces. It's a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships becoming deeper. I'm hearing very specifically for Pisces, and it doesn't matter if you are single or in a relationship. We'll talk about that in a few weeks. Um, whatever it is that you are working towards in that respect, this week, take the time to really deepen those connections. If you're in a relationship, 
and I say this off and on, but this is definitely a time to focus on you and your partner. You've got Pisces and the lovers. There is a very distinctive um, fantasy world that comes with a Piscean. They <laughs> don't like to keep their feet on the ground or their soul in their body. They like to be out doing things. So it's that fantasy, that escapism. Let that work within your relationship. The lovers is a deep binding relationship between two people and allow yourself to dis dis discover, develop, and deepen that relationship. Really tap into the other person. Find out more about them. Even if you've been together for 20 years, there's always something a little bit different you might find out later. And this is well, this is later, so take the time this week to really invest in your partner. Um, so let's check out your second rune here. We have the Algees rune or Algees rune. Protection is its keyword. Color association is or color is gold. Tarot association is the moon. Astrology is Cancer. So we're still working within the water element here. Uh, it's protection from danger, resisting temptation, new beginnings are possible. So if you're in a relationship, Pisces, or water signs, uh, this could, with this particular combination, indicate a pregnancy or something along those lines coming in because it's new beginnings. There's also uh, a sign to protect the things that are most important. Gibo represents the lovers. It's the Pisceans. It's the things that are your value at your core. These are things that you you f and fantasize about, but not doesn't have to be in a amorous way. It could also be things that you fantasize about, like that dream of owning that house on the beach, that vacation of one month touring the Italian countryside, the, t the wine country. Those are fantasies that a lot of the times you hold quiet because you're not sure if other people are going to judge you for it, which I understand. But with algaes coming forward, but also Gibo, this is a time for water to really explore those. And they're saying with the P Gibo rune specifically, this is an exploration with a partner. Generally, what I'm hearing is this is with um, a romantic partner, a long-term partner, but it could be with a really close friend that you've always just been kind of connected to, like a soulmate, not so much um, ever done anything romantic. It's just you're, you're that close type of energy. So as you go through this week, um, water signs, work on deepening that and don't, don't be afraid of exploring fantasy, however that manifests, because sometimes you need that little bit of escapism just to stay sane in our crazy little world we live in. Um, overall this week, it looks like it's going to be a pretty, pretty good week, definitely for a couple of the energies here. Pay attention to your dreams and your intuition. Things are not meant to go quickly. This is a time of long-term planning for those signs. The other earth and water specifically with your gifting and the energy flowing in, be generous, but also be a gracious uh, receiver of energy and gifts this week because it's definitely a week for the turning of the energy. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts, feelings, and opinions are, and I will talk to you in a future episode.